sweep. It's gonna be over. It's, it's gonna be over. I think this game will actually wind up being uh, the second closest game. I think that the final score of this game is actually gonna be ninety eight to uh, to ninety four, and I think that the Warriors are gonna win this game. I, I think Steph again goes off for of thirty. I'm taking Steph to actually go for thirty nine and eight in Cleveland. I think KD actually gives you thirty as well. I think Clay is gonna give you seventeen, but I think. Draymond in this game will have a good game, but not a good game making shots. I see Draymond in this game having like six, eight, eight, one and one, and then that, and then from that perspective, all you need are the other guys to just come in and to just sustain a, that that level of energy. Because I feel like LeBron is gonna come out in Cleveland and and do his best. Do his best Mike Tyson impression of where Mike Tyson used to basically try to knock you out in the first two rounds, right? If you LeBron in Cleveland, you got to hop out to a hot start in, in Cleveland. Because if you get into a situation where you f- mess around and they you give them 35 points, 30 points in the first quarter, and you only got 20, 25, you might be on your road to getting blown out. And you don't want that to happen. I don't think LeBron James will let that happen. I don't see LeBron doing that anymore. Although I laugh and joke and say he's 2011 LeBron when he plays, has bad games. He's still very clearly the best player on planet Earth. Thought it was Kevin Durant. He proved me wrong. It didn't happen. I expect LeBron to actually come out in this game and put up 45, 9, and probably 11 rebounds. But I think that LeBron, is again, will have a high turnover game, six turnovers. I don't. I see JR going crazy in this game, but I don't think that you'll see it from the others. And that's the same reason why I've been saying all season long that this is not a good team because you're going to need them night in, night out to be consistent. And even as inconsistent as the Celtics were over those, over, over those seven games that they played Cleveland, they still had at least three to four guys every game that would consistently come in and make plays. And in Cleveland, I think it's only three guys that can come in and consistently make plays. And one of them is Double T, and he can't score. So I think that, you know, this ends in, in four. I still say it's going to be a sweep. As you say, the series will look closer, or it was closer than we think it is. It ain't to me. It's over. This is the beginning of the end. And then ne- next week, I'll be able to relax the whole week and just bask and not knowing that I know, knowing that the Warriors won another ring and I don't have to talk basketball for a week and I can just relax for once. Thank you, Steph Curry, for my vacation. I appreciate it. Um, go ahead. I'm going to actually go with the Castle in this game. Um, for one, I just think that I just think there is a lot that they can improve upon for when they have to finish out possessions. I think that when Ty Lue walks in the meeting on whatever Monday morning, the first thing he mm-hmm. just says is finish out possessions. I think they'll do a better job of that. Again, uh, I think the JaVale thing caught him by surprise. Also, Steph made a great in-game adjustment of when they started overplaying him. It was like, yo, I'm going to get the shot I want. I'm going to just get the ball up and get it back. Yeah. I think that, again, they'll do a better job of finishing possessions. Also, Cleveland shoots way better at home. Mm-hmm. They still haven't shot well in this series. Mm-hmm. Even in game one, they shot like shit. I think that with them being at home, you sleeping in your own bed, got a, a little bit of comfort. I think they'll shoot at least around 39% from the field. Um, I think they'll fight like hell, and I think that they'll pull this game out. I think it'll be close. I think it'll be somewhat like 111 to 104.